I joined HSI Toastmasters Club on 26th August 2019. Yes, I remember the date. I was a very shy, reserved, and I was literally shit scared to talk to new people. You might find it hard to believe, my dear members, but that's the truth. After being with HSR Toastmasters Club for almost two and a half years now, well, you can see this big smile on my face, and I think that it really speaks volumes as what kind of a journey I have been in these past two and a half years. I have met so many amazing people in this club. I have made so many lovely friends who I can proudly say that they are my friends for life. I always feel so excited. I always look forward as to when I will go on a Saturday's meeting, when I'll go to my HSR Toast Masters Club meeting, when I'm going to see you all, when I'm going to meet you all. And it really fills my heart with so much of joy and so, so much of happiness whenever I attend the meeting, whenever I see you, whenever I talk to you. And I just want to say that I really, really love you. Thank you so much. Well, I chose the presentation mastery path because I want to be a professional speaker. And what can be better than pursuing the presentation mastery path itself? It has so many amazing projects which can really challenge you as a speaker. For example, the keynote style speech or moderating a panel discussion or handling disruptions during a speech or giving a presentation and then handling audience questions. So many challenging and amazing projects to explore and experiment with. And that is why I decided to pursue the presentation mastery path. Well, while progressing through the path, I was really excited and enthusiastic towards attempting my next project because I will get to experiment and explore new ideas. And if I can be honest with you, crazier ideas. But I did feel a bit of a struggle when I reached level four. Suddenly, from crafting five to seven minutes of speeches, I had to craft 20 to 25 minutes speech. For instance, there was this one keynote style project and then there was this uh, one moderating a panel discussion project. It took me around two months just to prepare for these two projects. But I realized during this time that while you do feel a bit overwhelmed or sometimes you can feel that, oh, why do we need to prepare so much? But the more time and effort you invest in preparing for your project, the more rewarding and fulfilling is our experience. Uh, well, the biggest motivation for me while I was pursuing the path was my innate passion for public speaking and my zeal towards doing something new every time I go on the stage. And also, as a person, I love to take risks and challenges head on. So that also helped me to cruise through this presentation mastery path. Oh, and yes, the constant push and guidance I received from my mentor, who used to comment sometimes that, Hello, hero, when are you going to give your speech? Where is your script? So these two small comments really made me push through and yeah, that's how I finished my projects on time. And there you go. I finally managed to finish my path after two years. I felt really emotional 
while I finished my path breaker speech, I was almost in tears as everybody who was there at the venue can confirm on this. I clearly reminisced and revisited all the experiences and all the memories which I have made in the past two and a half years of pursuing this path while being with my HSR Toastmasters club. You know, <laughs> the first thing which I did while I was preparing for my path breaker speech was to check out my icebreaker speech which I gave back in 2019. And let me tell you, in those entire 6 minutes and 30 seconds, I was just laughing at myself as to how I am speaking. But then it really made me see that how far I have come in this journey. After two and a half years, while I saw my last speech, I could clearly see the transformation. I could clearly see the difference. And that made me really, really happy. In these two and a half years, I feel that I have climbed a few steps towards being a better speaker and also as a better human being. And that is what makes me feel really, really happy and grateful. Hmm, tips. Well, tips ain't free, my dear. So yeah, let me tell you that I charge 100 rupees per tip and I'm going to mention my Google Pay number so you can transfer 100 rupees per tip depending on how many tips do you want. Well, jokes apart, my first tip for all of you will be that focus on one project at a time. One step at a time, my dear members. Don't feel overwhelmed as to how you are going to complete the entire path. Five levels. So many projects. Don't worry about that. Just focus on your next project and how you can make it crazier than your last project. Experiment with new and crazy ideas every single time when you go on that stage. And that is what will keep you going through the path. My second tip, whenever you feel stuck, pick up your phone and call your mentor. And don't let him or her get a good night's sleep until they pull you out from that muddle. Yes, you heard it right. Don't let them go away till they solve your problem. Alright, that is what you have to do my dear members. So mentors, you need to be there. That's all.